welcome to episode number nine on the Board Game Man channel. My name is Jamie Cloninger. Today we're going vintage, back to 1976, when I was two years old. We're going to look at Barricade. So let's get to the gamer's table, and I will show you how to play it. Okay, this is what the board game looks like. Uh, we have the two to four player side. It's actually a double sided board. So this is for two to four players. And then if you flip it around on the back side, you can actually have five to six players. Three on this side, three on this side. So that's uh, that's pretty cool what they did there. But we're gonna go ahead and show you the simpler side. This is the four player, two to four player side, each with uh, their own colors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do blue and yellow. So we're going to go ahead and put you at five markers for each player. So let's put them in here. Okay. Now the object of the game is you're trying to get your pieces up to this spot right here. This is the finish line right here. Now you'll see these little circles that have the lines going through them. That is where you put these barricades. So these are the barricades you get in the game. And so what you'll do is you'll place a barricade on each one of these circles. Okay, and there we go, there we go, we have the final one up here. Now as you're rolling the dice, it actually, it's kind of funny, it actually comes with two dice, and they say only roll one die, the other die is in there in case you lose this one. So that's actually pretty cool, so you don't get too many games that give you an extra piece in case you lose them. I mean, there is some out there, but there's not many, so this one actually comes with two, but you only use one die for this. So what you're going to do is you're going to roll the die, six. Now what you're going to do is you can't go through these barricades unless you roll the exact amount to land on it. All right. So uh, for instance, we got this one, two, three, four, five. I wouldn't be able to do that. One, two, three, four, five. I can't remove that either. Now if I had rolled a five, I can land right on that. Take that barricade and move it towards either blocking the you know, opponent from moving anywhere or you can move it anywhere you want on the board as long as it's above the bottom line. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start barricading your, your opponent as you go through. So in this case, and you can go forward or backward when you roll the die. So let's do, so this one's six. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. He has really no way to go either way there, so I have to go that way. So we're gonna roll yellow. Yellow rolls a three. So we'll do one, two, three. Now, there is that rule in this game that if you do occupy the same space as another one, you knock that player back to the home base. So this player could be way up here, and you land in that space, it goes all the way back to the home base. So you, there is no two people occupying the same spot. So we're going to keep rolling here. Blue gets a three. Aha, here we go. So we get one, two, three. You're right on the barricade. So you take over that, and you're going to place this barricade anywhere you want, as long as it's above... The bottom line so i can't just put it here i can't do that obviously but anywhere above that line so i think i might uh do, 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 let's see well, i don't really want to block my path here i'm just gonna go this is kind of early in the game so it's kind of hard to put where it's gonna be <laughs> i'll just put it here for game reasons that way i can keep this game moving so the yellow yellow gets a one uh he'll just roll up here or I could have moved one out of here. You can you can you can do what you can move whatever tokens you want. You don't have to do the same token. And then we'll do blue is two, one two, and we'll do yellow. Okay, there's one for yellow. So there we go. So boom, he knocks that barricade off. You can take that barricade, and guess what? He can place it right in front of me. So that way I can't go up there. Okay. And then we got blues coming up. Blue gets four. So obviously I can't move either way. I can't move this way. I can move this way if I want to, but I might as well take another one out. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So we got one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna go this way. Yellow comes around, gets a one. We'll do one. Blue gets one. Oh, uh oh, dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna move that barricade. I'm gonna place this elsewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and put it. Let's see, because I kind of want to go the same way yellow is going. I'll put it right here that way. You can't come around this way, or you can't run this way. Actually, you no, know I'm going to put it right here behind me. That would be a good spot for it. So now if he wants to go this way, he's going to be blocked. Okay, and then yellow. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to continue on his merry way. Blue is going to be three. Let's see. We'll do one, two, three. I'm going to try to chase him down. And we got yellow has one. One. Blue gets a five. So what I can do here is remove this barricade over here. One, two, three, four, five. This barricade gets moved out of the way. And I'm going to place it right there in front of that yellow. That way I barricade him from trying to get to the final. Then blue is going to roll a one. Let's just roll him this way. Maybe I'll go the other way. Yellow rolls a four. He has no choice but to bring another person out. One, two, three, four. And so on. So that's what you're going to do throughout the game is you're just going to keep on playing. You're going to remove those barricades. Try to barricade your opponent. Or if you, you know, try to protect one of your guys you can put it maybe behind you as soon as you got a pier or something you can barricade it here or here and, and try to barricade them from getting to you so you're going to do that all the way to the top until you reach this one obviously you have to remove that and you have to have an exact count to get to the finish line so if you're here or here you know if you're here you got to roll well actually you got to roll one first to remove this and then you have to roll another one to get the final the final spot and that is how you play barricade Thank you so much for watching the episode with Barricade. I hope you enjoy that game. If you end up getting it uh, and purchasing it and enjoying it and loving it, make sure you put it in the comments down below. I'd really love to know that. Along with, uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please click the like on down below. And thank you so much. And uh, until next time, happy gaming.